Yeah. The Inglewood City Council votes to ban marijuana social clubs, but still hasn't decided what to do about the one operating there. It's been operating for more than a year now. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen goes inside Ibake Inglewood, whose owners say the vote hit them hard. On this stretch of South Broadway, dotted with marijuana dispensaries, we give uh, a safe, legal place for people to be able to consume. I bake Inglewood has been quietly operating for the last year. I really thought for a minute that that there wasn't going to be a problem. Banning marijuana consumption clubs. But in last night's Inglewood City Council meeting, members voted unanimously to ban marijuana social clubs. They didn't want uh, this type of business to be part of the social fabric of this community, is what it really came down to. City managers say the council did not decide yet what to do about iBake. Its future may be discussed in the next council meeting. What do we have to do? I just feel like we're being attacked because they don't like the type of business that we have. We're working very hard to provide a regulatory framework so that this won't happen in the future. Jordan Person with Denver Normal says the IBAKE locations in Denver and Inglewood are an example, addressing the built in legal conflict that pot sales are allowed, but consuming it publicly isn't. They're working on an amendment to make marijuana clubs legal in Denver, but for now, IBAKE's future is hazy. In Inglewood, Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.